Hello, world. Welcome, I am your host, Mr. Stag. Today we will be discussing the life story of Michael Lee Chin. Michael Lee Chin, is a Jamaican-Canadian billionaire businessman, and philanthropist and the chairman and CEO of Portland Holdings Inc., a privately held investment company in Ontario, Canada. Lee Chin was born in Port Antonio, Jamaica, in January 3, 1951 to Aston Lee and Hyacinth Gloria Chen. Both his parents were biracial African and Chinese Jamaican. When Lee Chin was aged seven, his mother married Vincent Chen, who had a son from a previous relationship, and the couple had a further seven children together, six boys and one girl. Lee Chin's mother sold Avon products and worked as a bookkeeper for various local firms, while his stepfather ran a local grocery store. He attended the local high school, Titchfield High, between 1962 and 1969. In 1965, Lee Chin's first job as a teenager came working as part of the landscaping team at the Frenchman's Cove Hotel. The next year, he got a summer job working on the Jamaica Queen cruise ship, cleaning the engine room. In 1970, he went to Canada on a scholarship program sponsored by the Jamaican government to study civil engineering at McMaster University, and graduated in 1974. He financed his first year at university on his own but after that was able to attend on scholarship. After graduating from McMaster, Lee Chin worked briefly as a road engineer for the Jamaican government, but unable to find work in his qualified field, he returned to Canada where he began graduate studies in business. In 1974, he married Vera Lee Chin, a Ukrainian-Canadian whom he had met at university. They parted in 1991, and officially separated, though did not divorce, in 1997. Mose Lee Chin has since contested the terms of the separation agreement, claiming that Lee Chin did not disclose his actual wealth at the time of the separation. The couple had three children, Michael Jr., Paul, and Adrian. At first, he worked as a bouncer, but later found employment as a financial advisor for Investors Group. While at Investors Group, he studied the strategies of successful investors, such as Warren Buffett, Benjamin Graham and Kenneth Thompson. Mr. Chin uses the same strategy as these legendary investors, buy, hold, and prosper. He also invested in public investment management businesses which benefit from a rising market in two ways. In a rising market stock in portfolios go up and more people become investors and increase existing investment. Lee Chin spent two years at the Investors Group, in the Hamilton, Ontario office and in 1979, moved to Regal Capital Planners and became regional manager. Lee Chin borrowed $500,000 from the Continental Bank of Canada to buy McKenzie Financial Corporation stocks. By 1987, the investment was worth $3.5 million. In 1987, he founded Portland Holdings and used the profits from the sale of the shares to acquire AIC Limited, a small Ontario-based investment firm. In the late 1980s, AIC suffered from a collapse in the real estate market, in which it had invested. It recovered throughout the early 1990s by maintaining investments in large groups, such as Merrill Lynch and TD Bank. This caused investments to grow from $8 million in 1990 to nearly $8 billion by 1998. Within 20 years, he grew the firm's assets to more than $15 billion at business peak. Lee Chin was reluctant to invest in the dot-com boom, and saw AIC investments lose 8% in value, even as the S&P gained 56%. Investors moved $224 million United States dollars out of AIC's flagship, Advantage Mutual Fund. The Globe and Mail ran an article predicting that even more investors would leave the fund, meaning that it would run out of cash and be forced to sell its core holdings. 
Mi Chin's response was to sell stock in Coca-Cola, and invest US$65 million United States dollars into McKenzie Holdings, the same firm in which he had invested US$400,000 16 years previously. Letters were sent to all 350,000 investors, explaining the strategy. The investors were calmed by the purchase, and the stock was later sold to Investor Group, the same company Li Chin had worked for in the 1980s. They paid about $3.1 billion cash. The deal makes Investors Group and McKenzie the dominant force in managed assets in Canada, with over $85 billion in assets under administration and over 2 million clients. In 2000 and 2001, following the dot-com crash, AIC outperformed the market with 26% growth. In November 2003, AIC was part of a regulatory investigation involving 105 Canadian mutual funds companies. In its review of AIC, investigators found no evidence of late trading and market timing activity by AIC staff. However, the Ontario Securities Commission OSC, did find that over the 1999-2003 period, AIC permitted specific third-party investors to engage in market timing trades in AIC funds that generated profits of $127 million. In the settlement agreement between AIC and the OSC, the OSC stated that, accordingly, the conduct of AIC in failing to protect fully the best interests of the relevant funds in respect of the frequent trading market timing was contrary to the public interest. As a result, in December 2004, AIC Limited was forced to return CAD $58.8 million to affected investors, which was the largest penalty imposed on any of the fund companies in the OSC investigation. On 5 October 2006, Li Chin announced his resignation as CEO of AIC, to be replaced by Jonathan Wellam, AIC's chief investment officer. Following the acquisition of AIC Limited, Li Chin set up the Berkshire Group of Companies, comprising an investment planning arm, a securities dealership and an insurance operation. By 2007, Berkshire had amassed more than $12 billion of assets under administration. In 2007, Manulife acquired Berkshire from Portland Holdings in exchange for shares, making Portland one of the largest shareholders of Manulife. In 2009, Li Chin sold AIC Limited to Manulife for an undisclosed amount. In addition to his responsibilities at Portland Investment Council Inc., Michael sits on various boards in Canada and throughout the Caribbean. Portland Holdings is a privately held investment company which owns a collection of diversified businesses operating in sectors that include media, tourism and financial services. At the helm, Michael established an investment philosophy and guiding principles for each of the Portland group of companies. In the late 1990s and early 2000s, Jamaica went through a period of financial crisis. Li Chin saw potential in his native country, and Portland purchased 75% of the National Commercial Bank of Jamaica for 6 billion Jamaican dollars, 127 million United States dollars, from the Jamaican government. In 2004, he announced plans to set up the AIC Caribbean Fund with the intention of investing in the entire Caribbean region. The stated aim of the fund is to raise US$1 billion United States dollars in order to make investments in businesses located in countries of the Caribbean community C-A-R-I-C-O-M, with an emphasis on Jamaica, Barbados and Trinidad and Tobago. So far, it has made a number of large-scale investments. In 2006, Portland acquired an 85% controlling stake in the United General Insurance Company, the largest auto insurer in Jamaica, and renamed the firm Advantage General Insurance Company. A controlling interest in CVM Communications Group, consisting of radio and television stations and newspapers, was purchased at the same time. 
Portland partnered with the Canadian Risley Group to form Columbus Communications Limited, a Barbadian corporation that holds controlling interest in a number of telecommunications providers in the Caribbean including Cable Bahamas Limited, Caribbean Crossings Limited, Merit Communications Limited, and Fibral Link Jamaica Limited. Portland's financial services holdings include, Guardian Holdings Limited Mandeville Group National Commercial Bank Jamaica Limited NCB Financial Group Limited Portland Investment Council Portland Private Equity Portland JSX in the tourism sector, Portland Holdings owns a number of properties across the Caribbean. Among these properties include those that house hospitality operations such as the Trident Hotel, Trident Castle, Blue Lagoon, Reggae Beach, and Coral Springs. Coral Springs is a 360-acre beachfront property located in the parish of Trelawney, Jamaica. The property sits in the middle of a tropical beach haven with neighboring properties recently being acquired for development by international hotel chains thus preparing the area to become a major tourist destination in Jamaica. Portland also owns a 2,657-acre farming site that is revolutionizing industrial farming in Jamaica through the use of state-of-the-art equipment combined with Israeli technology. Focused on producing an array of crops, the project will address import substitution in Jamaica while addressing the issue of food safety through environmentally sustainable farming methods. The project also aims to improve competitiveness in the farming sector by attracting skilled and trained entrepreneurs and strengthening investment in the agribusiness by capitalizing on government assets through a public-private partnership model. Portland's first acquisition in the healthcare industry sector was announced in July 2006, when Medical Associates Limited, a privately held hospital in Kingston, Jamaica, joined the Portland Group. Portland has investments in consumer goods as well with Mavis Bank Coffee Factory Limited and Wallenford Coffee Company. This is a quote from Michael Lee Chin, I wouldn't have become an engineer, I wouldn't have done what I did, had a hand not been held out to me. I have to remember who helped me when I needed help. The people of Jamaica helped me. I can't forget that. I would be ungrateful if I forgot.